The only surprise I would have found in this is if Philadelphia hadn't cheated in this election. Because for the last 60 years, they've cheated in just about every single election. Almost every civilized country, even Tanzania, that could have been Mickey Mouse. He just put it in open, naked. Clearly illegal, clearly voter fraud, easily provable, hundreds of witnesses, maybe thousands. So why does that happen 17,000 times in Pittsburgh? People walked in thinking, they actually 15,000 to be precise, they were instructed by the Democrat bosses when they had a ballot in which there was no one registered, just assign it to somebody. Did you all watch My Cousin Vinny? Did you know the movie? My, it's one of my favorite uh, law movies because he comes from Brooklyn. And uh, when the, the nice lady who said she saw, and then he, uh, he, he says to her, how many f fingers do I, how many fingers do I got up? And she says, uh, three. Well, she was too far away to see it was only two. These people were further away than my cousin Vinny was from the witness. So that takes us to Michigan, where there was an honest Democrat who said they were cheating. This is, this is, uh, I don't know if she's a Democrat or Republican. I know her age, but she, she can tell you her age. Again, this is Jesse Jacob, not me. That's because the coverage of this has been almost as dishonest as the scheme itself. This is what we call evidence. It's attached to the complaint in Costantino versus the city of Detroit. It was actually November, was, was after November 3rd, 2020. Now this is really significant. A lawyer shouldn't have to withdraw from a case because he's representing the President of the United States. You should have had the time and energy to go look for them. That's your job. The people thought it was food, so they all ran to the truck. It wasn't food. It was thousands and thousands of ballots. When they saw a ballot, these were ballots only for Biden, meaning there was no down ticket, just Biden, which means they were put into the counting machine this way. Once, twice, three times. I didn't see that. I don't know that. Progressive days, when I say progressive, I mean late 19th century, early 20th century progressive, when that really meant progressive, not retrogressive. In fact, we have precincts in which two times the number of people who live there, including children, voted. That's absurd. And this, this is a common plan, a common scheme. It comes right directly from the Democrat Party, and it comes from the candidate. Clearly. That's the reason why Hillary Clinton said, don't concede, even if you're losing. That's the reason we had a Freudian slip by the candidate. And he said he had the best voter fraud team in the country. That's the reason why he probably didn't have to go out and campaign. <laughs> he had to have known what they were going to do. This had to be planned in advance. I'm, I'm kind of checking, did they go you know, to the same contractor to get the corrals? to put the Republicans in.